this thing, this is the endpoint. So the endpoint takes an instructor list parameter that comes from somewhere and uses it to display the result. But how does this thing get set? Um, well, you're not going to ask the user to construct this URL manually. What you're going to do is you're going to ask them to select an instructor list from a list of them and then press a button to fetch this. So, um, so I'm going to actually write a form in a separate page that includes a, um, a chooser, a drop-down menu that will let me pick the right instructor list out of the list. And it will have like a print button that when I press it, it will go ahead and display this result. Um, so let's go and, and I'm gonna do this the simple way to start with, and then it'll get a little bit more elaborate later on. But before I can do print instructor list, I need to do app route. This one's going to be called um, select instructor list for print. And it's going to define select instructor list for print. And uh, basically, it's going to render a ginger template, ginger template. So um, I think I can do all of this inside my render template. So this is going to be select. select instructor list for print.html. And then I need to pass in all my instructor lists. And that's going to be my under under course lists. So pass in all of them. And then this is going to render up a form. And then why am I getting a highlight there? So my line's too long. So let's go ahead and break that. Okay. Um, so now select instructor list for print, new HTML file, select instructor list for print html and this will be select to print um, and then this thing's going to be by the h1 select the instructor list you wish to print and then this is all going to be in a form. And then it's going to use get method to pass the parameters from the form. So just as I said, this thing's using get method to pass in these parameters. And so the way you get a form to, um, to use get method is like so. You put method equals get in the form tag. Um, and then action, that's going to be the URL that this thing gets passed to. So it's going to be print instructor list. So this is going to call print instructor list um, and pass in whatever I have inside the form. And then, so the first thing I want to have is going to be a select. Uh, name is instructor list name. And that's going to be the key value. And then inside of there, I want to put options for each of the instructor lists. So option value equals 
double quoted string. And then I forgot my for loop. So for instructor list in lists. I'm going to print instructor list dot get name as the value. And then I'm also going to put it as the text of the option. So that's going to give me a drop down select box that I can choose the instructor list name out of. And then please use the drop down menu to select the instructor list you want to print and then press the print button to continue. So then I want to have a print button, which is input type equals submit, value equals, actually, I don't need the value there, I don't think. Um, Um, that might want to be a button. Well, let's try to see if it works. Okay. And then I think this whole thing really probably wants to be in a paragraph tag. So let me put it in a paragraph. Tab it over. Okay. So here's my select instructor list for print. And then I need an endpoint for that, which I already have. So let's go ahead and load it, see what we get. So let me try that again. Oh, I need to reload this. Okay, and then I got an error. Um, unexpected end of template. Um, I forgot to finish something. So let me, uh, I forgot my end for. And rerun. And reload. Okay. Um, so yeah, that wasn't right. I do want a button there. So let me do that. There. Okay. So please use the drop down menu to select the instructor list and press print to continue. Let's select CIS 122 and print. And there's the instructor list for 122. And then let's do um, 233Y. And then we'll do all instructors. OK. So um, this is how you can write a form and pass um, arguments from the form that the user fills out to the next URL um, so that you can use it to display information.